Hi, I'm Bill Haskett. I'm Senior Principal, Energy Strategy for Decision Strategies. I understand all of you are in a two-week-long portfolio-intensive workshop. It, uh, it can be very interesting, but it can be mm, a little bit challenging at times, because there's more to portfolio than just the calculation. I guess the first thing I want to tell you about portfolio is you have to link it to strategy. There's no way around it. You have to have the portfolio linked to the strategy, which means it's not so much portfolio analysis in the final extent as it is portfolio management. The conscious manipulation of the items that are in the portfolio, the items that are not in the portfolio, they count too. And the downside outcomes that can lead the company into difficulty or expose the company to risk. The one thing that I want you to remember from my philosophy, and I've said this for many years, is that you cannot calculate a strategy. And that applies to both project work and portfolio work. You cannot calculate a strategy. Strategies have to be worked out. It's a positioning of the company in the basin, in the play, in the opportunity, in the collection of opportunities. Let's talk about the word portfolio for a second. You know where it comes from? It comes from the Latin portare, meaning to carry. So by definition, a portfolio has to have motion. It has to have movement. And is this a portfolio of bad snack food? No, it's a collection of bad snack food. The only way that you can get this snack food to move, to give it direction, is to send it across the room. Now, we obviously don't send our assets across the room, but we want to anticipate that our assets, our collection of assets, move the company in a specific direction. And that vector is really tied to your strategy. The strategy has objectives, and the fulfillment of the objectives should be to create and protect competitive advantage. That doesn't mean that we don't have to collect the assets, figure out what the assets can contribute individually, have good solid estimates that are uncertainty based and are range based, that look at the ups and the downs, the downside risk of the individual components of the portfolio. All of that's important. That has to be added in or aggregated in, to use the appropriate term. And that's one of the things that we can help with, is creating a viable method, a viable process to collect and maintain consistent information across the organization or across the, uh, the business unit or even within a project. I'm going to give you two examples of where we, more specifically I, have used portfolio analysis and portfolio management effectively at the, at the team level, at the project level, at the business unit level. All three of them, yes. We looked at the long-term strategy for Prudhoe Bay, the oil phase of Prudhoe Bay. Uh, what should we do? Should we invest more? Should we not invest anymore? Should we just do subsistence? Should it be harvest mode? Those were all some of the options that we were dealing with at the time. The method that we used to approach the 300 projects, because there were 300 individual projects in our portfolio for this greater business unit effort, we used a portfolio approach that allowed us to identify the combination of activities in the individual elements that would contribute the highest probability of success to the ultimate objectives of the project. Another example of where we used portfolio management and analysis was in the assessment of the development program for all of the onshore discoveries of natural gas in the country of Nigeria. The ultimate most complex project I have ever personally worked. 
approximately 300 TCF of gas in an untold number of discoveries that had to be linked in through security-enabled or secure pipeline systems with loops to up to 15 LNG trains. That was our portfolio. We had defined objectives and a good part of the time was looking at the downside risk of the aggregation of projects. That allowed us to move into the more of a project management perspective to prioritize both the timing and the allocation of time, people, and money through multiple fiscal periods. The response was terrific, and we could not have done this project management approach to portfolio or, in reverse, a portfolio approach to project management without good portfolio theory, good portfolio practice, and an assessment of the upside and downside potential of the, of, of the situation at the sub-project level. We work with you to help you determine what your objectives are. We're not a company that comes in and says, you have to do things this way. We're not a company that comes in and says, give us all of your information and we're going to tell you what to do. How we work with a company is very important to helping you own your own decisions, to help you see new and different ways to approach objective fulfillment, to allow you to capture and maintain competitive advantage in whatever your project areas are, are working on, whatever your business units are working on. This is our unique advantage. We help you find the answers that you can stand by. And in portfolio management and portfolio analysis, we can provide the technical know-how for the number crunching, as well as the management and options and decision support and project management, and risk assessment, downside risk identification and management, Now let's talk briefly about portfolio optimization. People like to push the button and get the portfolio optimized. What does that really mean? I myself am a pseudo fan of portfolio optimization. You have to be careful with it. It's very useful, it's very helpful. You have to be careful that the portfolio that you pick has resiliency, it has staying power. In that context, what we've done in the past with clients is help them figure out what happens when the portfolio doesn't end up being exactly as you have forecast or hoped it would be. The stability of a portfolio the stability of an optimized portfolio is just as important as the positioning of what that portfolio is. We help companies figure out where the risks lay, what elements change, what they're likely to change to, and we identify in a portfolio context the things that are most likely to cause you pain and regret. When we help companies work on competitive advantage in a portfolio context, we aggregate across the entire portfolio to find out where the dangers lay. We all like to think that our projects are independent, but we do know that, that our projects are pretty dependent or correlated to other projects in our portfolio. That assessment of the risk of correlation and dependency can be very important to avoiding the downside outcomes in a portfolio. Because there has to be some sort of feedback loop in a portfolio system. We help companies identify those feedback loops.
to identify where the most important learning events are so that you can shortcut the time to completion of the project, time to the completion of the, pro the portfolios, and maximization of the value and competitive positioning of the portfolios. And aside for competitive advantage, you want to be thinking of it this way. I want your portfolio to give your company competitive advantage. And there's two different approaches that you have to be thinking of at the same time. Just like any sports team has an offense and a defense, your portfolios have to have an offense and a defense. So here's, we're linking into strategy now. The positioning of, of the company to create and maintain competitive advantage is both an offensive and a defensive effort. We help companies find those solutions. We help companies find those solutions effectively and efficiently. We also hope that companies are willing to look at it not from just an assessment and a management plan perspective, but from an implementation plan perspective. The greatest failing of portfolio activities that I personally have seen over the past 15 years of consulting is that companies fail to have a good portfolio implementation plan. This is critical. It's the juncture between decision support, portfolio management, and project management. The implementation of the decisions made at the portfolio level are vitally important. We help you to coordinate that through project management, decision support, and value enhancement. All of it contributes to the greater strategy of having good, solid, preservable competitive advantage and competitive growth in your areas of activity.